Aha, there you all are. A very Merry Christmas to you. It's me, Scotty McClure, and we're live on Facebook Live. Sunday night, nothing gets past me, but a very, very important Sunday night. It's Sunday the 25th of December 2016. Christmas Day, as I say, nothing gets past me. I just thought I'd pop up because you might be expecting me. I know you've got many, many, many calls on your time. And you think, I haven't time for that old fool. But ah, yes, you have. Of course you have. You can spare me a few minutes. Let me know how your day went and we can have a little chit chat. If you actually get thoroughly fed up with it, then of course, we can always push off. It's not the end of the day, is it? John Gators as well, it's getting towards the end of the day, but at the end of the day, I've always said it's night. John Gators is there, Ian Garty, George Raffin's watching, Douglas William Bryce, Tony Mack, Jarvis Butler's watching, Andy McCrory, Merry Christmas, Scotty, and to you, Andy. Dave Shearer's watching in sunny Australia and Adelaide there. George Mullen, are you on for an hour? Well, we'll see, George. We'll see if people get fed up. Gavin McCoy's watching in Oxfordshire. Merry Christmas, says you and McIntyre. Craig Duncan's watching. Rona McKenzie says Merry Christmas and a kiss, a kiss to you, Rona, of course. Merry Christmas, Scotty, says Ian Garty, and to you, Ian, and to your dear family. Hi, Scotty. Happy Christmas to you. Hope you've had a great day, says Tony Mack. Marvellous stuff. George Raffin, all the best, Scotty. Absolutely, guys. I thought I'd just pop up and say hi, as I say. Dave Hemsley's watching, and he is in now. He did tell me exactly. He's down in Staffordshire. That's it. And uh, Merry Eximus, Scotty, says Gavin McCoy. I don't have the Eximus, Gavin. Touch of the psoriasis, and as you can see, very little of that as well. Wadge is watching. Dinky do, Wadge. I hope you've had a wonderful day and you're having a good break. How was your crumbledons, says Jarvis Butler. Excellent, Jarvis. We've had quite a lot of sprouts, so let's hope we don't have uh, an accident. You know what I mean? Uh, anyway, uh, just finished Christmas message to uh, the Commonwealth. Dressed as a giant um, pen, says Craig Duncan. Excellent. Good for you. Uh, happy Christmas from Teesside, says John Foster. Ah, dinky do from, from Teesside. Uh, Ian says, I'm in Birmingham with Paul. Can you say hello to Paul? Paul, of course I can say hello to you. Dinky do, you lovely fellow. And I hope the two of you are having a great evening in a wee bottle of uh, Blanquette or something like that. Um, James Kittle's watching. Dinky do to you, James. Julianne Scott's watching. And George Mullen, you've done well coming on tonight, Scotty. A lot of people are fed up with their TVs. Well, that's not the reason I actually came on, but I have to say, um, is it just me? Or is the television very, 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 very poor? Uh, lots of repeats, lots of old stuff, very little current stuff. And we're paying fortunes, you know, thousands and thousands, millions. Uh, Scotty, I'm sober. Happy Christmas, says Sandy Howden. Good for you, Sandy, out in East Lothian there. Dinky do. Merry Christmas, Scotty, from Street Mania, says David Steele. And a Merry Christmas, Scotty, says Wedge. Thanks, Wedge, appreciate it. Merry Xmas from Portugal, says Jalnono Akamel. Uh, we're drowning in Bailey's down here. We don't want a life raft, says Gavin McCoy. Of course, you love your uh, your cocktails in Oxfordshire, you know. If you go into a pub in Scotland and say, could I have a lager and lime, please? They say, we don't usually do cocktails. Um, we're uh, having a great time. Sad TV these days, says Wedge. Wedge, maybe this is because Facebook Live is the future. And uh, McClure just happens to have popped in early there, ahead of the game, as we apparently always have been in our career. So marvellous stuff. Scott McClure has always been ahead of his time. And in fact, tonight I saw some uh, official figures for uh, a national station and for Scotty McClure, and we were absolutely trumping them, if you'll pardon the expression. I shared the link, says Wadge. Thanks, Wadge, much appreciated. Richard Frediani is watching, our finest news editor in the country, and uh, it's an honour and a privilege to know that Richard Frediani is watching, because he might take pity on this old soul and say, I want you to read a bulletin for me. Just one a year would do, Scotty. Keep my hand in. Scotty, my missus says you're going to split us up because she can't spell. <laughs> she sells seashells on the seashore, of course. Lovely to hear from you. Great you're on tonight. The show's really, really good. Love us, says um, Jarvis Butler there. Merry Christmas, Scotty, says Dino the Dunk. Dino's been around a while, exactly. For Christmas Day, the television has been appalling. 
Well, I went through all these channels. I mean, I've got stacks and stacks and stacks of channels. And I went through them all and I thought to myself, tot, 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 tot. There's nothing on here I want to see. There's old, old comedians that I saw when I was a child. There's old movies. She Wore a Yellow Ribbon was on. I quite enjoyed that. And last night, of course, I watched one of my favourites, and Alistair MacLean, Where Eagles Dare. Tremendous stuff. We have a bit of uh, psychology going on there. Lovely to hear from you, and uh, it's great that you're on. The whole family's now watching. Share, 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 says Douglas William Bryce. If you've just joined us, folks, and you're wondering who this funny, strange looking character that's popped up on your Facebook is, it's Scotty McClue. I understand you may be from another planet. I understand that you may not be of the human race. You might be an outsider, but you're very, very, very welcome. We have absolutely no barriers in this show. We are global, we are worldwide, and we welcome all comers from all corners of the world. Joy to the world, I say. Guys, Rolly Jones is watching, Dinky you do. Happy Easter, Mr. McClure, says Roy Brownlow, when it comes, of course. Scotty, there's a new People's Party of Scotland, and they're not happy with Nicholas Sturgeon nonsense, Sandy. The People's Party, I saw you all meeting in one of the old phone boxes there, and uh, you hadn't even crammed in. There was plenty of room for coffee and tea. Would you put your money on one of the royalty not to making it next Christmas, says George? No, I would never do that, George. I would never, ever put my money on anybody not making it. Let's just wish good health and happiness to everyone and hope that they all make it through to next year. Adam Wales is watching. Thank you, Adam. Lovely to hear from you, of course. Uh, Gillian Scott and five others have just shared. Share, 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 share. Thank you for that, I see, and dinky do. Uh, Steph McElhern is watching. Good to hear from you, Steph. A very fine broadcaster and a very nice man. Scotty, uh, I was just watching you on YouTube until you popped up. Uh, it's a massive treat. This is better than a double Mars bar. Woo! The double Mars bar, the long one. Excellent, yes. Remember, I used to work late at night, so uh, I'm well acquainted with all these treats that you might get at an all-night garage. Scotty, you're my radio hero, says Tony Mac. Would it be okay to interview you? Of course, absolutely. Everybody interviews Scotty McClue. Hey, Scotty, happy Christmas to you and the family, says Adam. Thank you, Adam. Very much appreciated. Sharing is caring, says Wadge. Wadge, sharing is caring. Keep sharing, everybody. Share, 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 share. Scotty McClue, Christmas night, just for you, dinky do, the world's top talk show, and we are here doing it live on Facebook Live. <clears throat> I miss the Skype and chatting to you, Scotty says, right, right, I may well introduce the Skype, but uh, I'll narrow it down so that it's for people that we know, because we had a couple of wee swearers who ruined it for millions and millions, just with two sweaty words. Hi, Scotty, happy Christmas, says Ron Stewart. Graham Allen's watching. William Rolls is watching. Do you think Christmas is one big retail scam now, says Josh? Not necessarily, Josh, as we were saying last night, Remember, it's about the Christ child, Jesu Christa, born 2016 years ago. And um, even if your beliefs aren't particularly strong in that area, Christmas itself is about the birth of a baby, a new life and a new future for us all. Very, very important. And as I said to you last night, world leaders just need to keep the heed. Uh, Scotty. What's come time got in common with Edinburgh? All the streets are named after places in Edinburgh. Edinburgh should do the same name places after calm time. Sandy says, too many yes posters about. Never, you can never have too many yes posters, Sandy. It just means that independence might come sooner rather than later. We swearers, no potty mouths, says Elaine Costello. I know Elaine. Uh, you know, we don't want that. Hiya, Scotty. Have you had a lovely day? I have had a fantastic day, I have to say. Uh, Gary Crossland's watching. Dinky do to you, Gary. Very much appreciated. Thank you for your kindness and your generosity. Hi, Scotty. It's David here. Jarvis, mate. Can I wish you a very Merry Christmas and a prosperous 2017? Robert Bain, Christmas is a farce. Just give me my turkey and quality street chocolates and let's have done with it. I've done some dangerous things, as I say. I've had an after eight at half past seven. Just get a quick sip of tea, loves. The only thing is, it's hot and it's stuck to the leather on the desk. The leather on the desk, you like that. Here we go. Mm -hmm. 
Lovely bit of argyle pottery there. Dinky do, Scotty, I'm just back from the moon, says Graham Allen. There are a few people tuned to the moon on here, Graham, I can tell you that. Have you ever heard of the lunar men, by the way? There's one I'm going to put out into the uh, stratosphere. Let's see if you remember. Cran Hill is named after lighthouses. So there we go. Dinky do, Scotty. Um, Mike Hanfield's watching. Mike Hanfield, one of the finest radio managers who has ever existed. And, of course, um, a wonderful, wonderful journalist. So a privilege and a pleasure to know you're watching, Mr. Hanfield. How fantastic. Are you full up eating so much turkey? Says Wedge. No, Wedge, I don't have the turkey. I had the sprouts. So there you are. So a wind of change is blowing through this program. And uh, Scotty, back me up by taxing cyclists. <laughs> you go tax psychopaths. Uh, why tax cyclists, says Gary Cross. And he's asking you, Sandy. You'll need to answer him. My missus says, can you say hello to all the women who have slaved over a stove for Christmas dinner? Yes, absolutely, my loves. Thank you very, very much to all the ladies and all the gentlemen, because I know some of you, some of the gentlemen do the goose fat and the basting and all that kind of thing. And I know some of you do the stuffing. And, uh, you know, it's uh, the ladies' marvellous stuff with the, uh, the turkey or the ham shank depending on what's uh, what's on offer for Christmas Day. So a big, big thank you to the ladies. Marvellous stuff for producing Christmas dinner. Uh, Sandy says they took up too much road, says Sandy. Well, avoid them, Sandy. They've been cyclists on the road for years. They've got cameras in their helmets. So don't start uh, cheeking up to them. Aha! Okay, Scotty, says Wadge. Right, no problem at all. Uh, you'll get a warning, though, if there's a wind of change blowing through the programme with the Brussels sprouts. George Mullen, latest on the new job, Scotty. How's it coming along? I won't know until um, early January, I would think, George, and then we'll know what's what. We can shape up McClue's life just the way it should be. Uh, as I say, I was looking at a national radio station and they had anything like the audience figures that Scotty McClue gets. Um, Tis bad and good for winds, says Jarvis Butler. Well, all wind is good, Jarvis, as you know. Uh, you're a great man for the wind. Rubbish, Sandy. We workers pay enough tax for the roads, says Gary Crossland. So Gary's obviously a cyclist. So you've got your work cut out there, Sandy. I'll tell you, you've overplayed your hand there, la la. Andy Robertson, Scotty, I'm doing Scotland's first escapology prison escape next year. Welcome to be involved. All the best, yes, that's right. Watch it. You've obviously tipped everybody off now, so there'll be a safety net there. Um, right, but uh, I mean, if Scotty McClue were on the wireless, nobody would want out of the big hoose anyway. Um, my missus thinks because it's Christmas, we have to have sex. Tell her, Scotty. Tell her what? Uh, so there you go. The one to buckle my shoe, I say. Right, if you've just joined us, a very warm welcome to the programme. We're here at 10 o'clock sharp, Sunday night, Christmas night. Christmas 2016, Scotty McClue's massive mighty megaphone in here on Facebook Live. Mick Boyle's watching. Was the radio station with the bad rating? Oh no, I can't see which one it was, George. I don't know, I don't listen to it. No, 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 it was long before that. It was a national station. Scotty, when's the last time you wore Lycra, as in trying to keep fit? Ooh, a couple of days now, Jarvis, since I had the Lycra on. Very good, standing up, cycling uphill, of course. Um, so there you go. And uh, you know what it's like, but uh, the Lycra, I mean, you know, I'll wear it at a stretch. Who have we got here? Uh, PMSL, says Ian Walker. Oh, quite right. No one can stop you, Scotty, says Wadge. Quite right. They all try to for some reason. I don't understand it. They go, oh, no, no, I don't, I know. I don't, oh, I don't think we'd like, that's not something we would put on the radio. No, no, no. It's too, um, it's too successful and uh, it's too real and um, too much of a hit, you know, and, and um, the people like it, of course, you know, uh, but, uh, ooh, ooh, don't know. We might say something. Oh, we don't want that, do we? Right, the cycle lanes are getting wider and wider. Wilder, you've put here, Sandy. They're getting wilder. You obviously know something the rest of us don't. And the road laws are being changed to suit cyclists. Tax and insure the cyclists 
I am taxed and insured and MOT'd. Are you talking personally, Sandy? Uh, so there you are. Are you talking your motor? What's your thoughts on magic mushrooms or truffles? Good or bad? I saw a programme with a gentleman that kept a pig in France, I think it was, and the pig went truffling with him. I thought that was rather marvellous. Uh, what's the shirt you're wearing? Is it a Christmas presy? Just asking, because it looks ironed, says George. Well, yes, well turned out, George, you know, very smart, you know, none of it. None of your nonsense on here. The way you dress is actually a mark of respect for who you're going to see. I'm going to see the people of the world, so therefore the least I can do is tidy myself up. Radio can't handle Scotty's entertainment, says Wadge. Well, yes, we, did, we, we put it on the telly then, for goodness sake. You know, I mean, get 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 Scotty McClure on the on the Graham Norton show, Jonathan Ross, all these chat shows, for goodness sake. You're a top man, Scotty. Great show. Ron Stewart says there. Here's William Sandlin says hi. Hi to you, William. All pedal bikes should be insured. What do you think, says George Mullen? Oh, I don't know. Um, you're taxed according to the emissions on your vehicle, Sandy. The roads are paid for through income tax. So there you are. So your income tax is doing it, Sandy. And your emissions. I know you'll have a few uh, emissions, Sandy, especially if you've been at the Sprouts. You're taxed uh, according to that. So that's how it works. Well, I wish uh, cyclists would stop riding on the footpaths. When there are cycle lanes, says Elaine Costello. A very fair point, Elaine, actually. Give me a wee second, folk. I'm just giving myself a, a wee bit of a mop down here because this studio's warm tonight for some reason. Um, now, have you ever wanted to host a game show, Scotty? Says Wadge. Well, there's a thought, Wadge. We need to get one. We need to get a good game show. And we'll get it hosting. In fact, I came across, I was looking at some papers today, and I came across a suggestion for Super Scotty. Uh, two teams from places, local places, and uh, McClure does his referee bit and asks the questions. Question, Master McClure. Lol, sharp, Scottish sharp, says Sandy Howden. Um, so, Scotty, my missus is sad because Brigadoon isn't on the telly. I keep telling her we'll go there next year. Listen, Ian, tell your missus you and her have always lived in Brigadoon, because that's the truth. Brigadoon, these old Scottish movies are quite like... Um, I don't know about Brigadoon, but some of them, they've got English actresses who speak received pronunciation, but they've they've trying out a Scottish accent, so they say, I don't think I'll have had the likes of Willie McLean dancing with me tonight. It's wonderful stuff, isn't it? Yeah, I do however think cyclists should be insured, says Gary. There's a lot of idiots on bikes. Yes, and a lot of the modern bikes you can go very, 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 very fast on. I don't know what the highest speed some of them will do, but if we've got any cyclists, don't say that you've done the speed. Obviously, that would be silly. Uh, but but say if you if you know what speed cyclists can go up to these days. Uh, and we'll talk about the insurance thing. What station are you on, says Andrew Welch? Andrew, we're not on a station at the moment, but there are big, big discussions going on at a very, very high level. So who knows what the near future will bring? I've nearly been knocked over a footpath by cyclists at night when they've not had lights on their bikes. Naughty people, says Elaine. Yes, indeed. Jim Stephen Gibb, all oh, the best, Scotty. Did you have a great Xmas day, sir? Share, 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 share. <coughs> Pardon me. Stuart McLean is watching. And um, if, as everybody just shared, that's wonderful. I'll have a sip of tea. Mm. Well said, Gary Crossing. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Stuart's watching there. Merry Christmas, Scotty, says Stuart. And a very, very Christmas to you as well. So there you go, folks. You're watching Scotty McClure. We're live on Facebook Live. We're only here for a short time, but we're here for a good time, which is marvellous stuff. And if you're finding the telly's not up to scratch tonight, I've always wondered, do North Sea divers, do they come up to scratch? Um, I agree, Lane. As I, I say, we're not all bad, nor good, says Gary. This is true. This is true. I wouldn't go out on a bike for all the idiots on the road, says Mandy Graham. Fair point, Mandy, I say. John says cyclists should be charged 
if they go through red lights. Most of the cyclists uh, I see. Here's Elliot Seth Faber saying, sorry I'm late. Scotty, no problem. You said it, says Jarvis. Yes, I did. Late on parade, Elliot, says Elaine. Oh, you're all getting each other now. Can't wait to hear you back in the air. Used to listen to your Scott FM. Uh, Tony Mac, is it just me or there are a lot of taxi drivers are just downright dangerous? Telly scrap, says Jarvis. <laughs> Bit of a sweeping statement there, Jarvis. Uh, Scotty, I'm looking forward to uh, Jonathan Watson doing Jonathan Watson in the new year. Fine fellow, Jonathan. A man I know very well. We were students together a long time ago. Uh, Paul Anthony is watching. The thing that annoys me about cyclists is when drivers overtake them, then just when we come to the lights, the undertaker's causing us to overtake them again. Just wait at the back of the queue. The cars are see more. John Hewson's watching. John Hewson, how fantastic. What a top man. And uh, I remember being very, very privileged to attend John Hewson's wedding at Blenheim Palace, of all places. Very fine man, John. And uh, very big in broadcast advertising and sales and that sort of thing. And very, very fine at it. A great, uh, a great uh, radio director. Uh, Section 38 of the Road Traffic Act, 1988. Dangerous cycling. So Stuart McLennan, Stuart, I'm sure everybody will be reaching for their highway codes and their road traffic acts as we speak. Merry Christmas and every blessing, Scotty, says Christopher Rees. And to you, Christopher, lovely, lovely, lovely to be sharing Christmas with you all, of course. I sang last night. It didn't go down all that well. Uh, Geese a wee tune, Scotty, says Jim Stephen Gibb. Well, we've got the box there, so we'll get a tune later. Scotty, the taxi drivers of silver toilet seats because uh, of another company. Ooh. Section 3, Road Traffic Act, dangerous driving, says Gary Crossan. Gary, we'll all be reaching for our Road Traffic Act yet again. Last week your tie was squinty. This week it's missing, says Paul Anthony. We've got the uh, cravat on, Paul. So there's a wee space there. Um, people on bikes should not be on pavements because today we were going for our dinner and one was coming one way and one coming the other and we had to move for them. It's a pavement, says Angie Thompson. It is indeed, Angie. Nothing gets past you, my darling. Think of my hard-working lorry driver and those hard-working truckers at this time of year, says Tony Mack. Absolutely. I had a good blather to the, the bin lorry uh, driver the other day. Uh, he stopped and um, uh, gave me some advice, which is marvellous. So there you are. Uh, Angie, cycle lane. Elliot says a wee dab, a wee dab just for you, Elliot. There we go, wee dab. <laughs> right. Um, Gary, section two is dangerous. Section three is careless. Yes. Um, so there you are. Don't lose your road traffic act, folks. Have it. Have it there. A lot of people I know will have it under the pillow. Scotty, what are we going to do about my beloved Hearts FC? This is my story. This is my song. Follow the hearts and never go wrong. All that stuff, Sandy. Was I right? Quite correct, Angie, says Elaine. Marvellous stuff. And uh, keep, your, uh, keep your mentions coming, folks. And I will give you a mention on Scotty McClue Live on Facebook Live. 10 o'clock sharp every Sunday night, 2200 hours Greenwich Mean Time. Oops, sorry Chief Inspector, sorry Scotty, I didn't research properly. Ah, there you are now. Health and safety when workers are on the road. There's two lanes cut off for health and safety, but you get a cyclist drawing up next to you, where a simple gust of wind could be fatal. Now, I don't know if you've come across average speed cameras. I don't like average anything. I'd like proper speed cameras. Yes, but um, are they good? Um, and do they help or are they a bit dangerous? Do people slam on when they see them? Any Skype tonight, Scotty, says Christopher Smith. I might do a bit of Skype later, Christopher. Uh, who knows, but we had to cut the Skype because we had a wee swearer on. with two wee swearers, actually. Uh, going like a fair tonight, Mr. McLuhan, says Gary Crossan. Yes, indeed. Sell out and become a hippie, Sandy. A high B. Would you like to be a high B, Sandy? There you go. Um, <laughs> that's marvellous, isn't it? Scott Wilson's watching. Now, there's a man that uh, knows a jambo when he sees one. So, there we are. Scott, if you have any advice 
for Sandy, should he give up the jambles and become a high B, um, then that would be uh, appreciated. That's his story, and that's his song. And um, that's okay, Gary. Take it as a warning, but don't do it next time, says Stuart. Skype, says Jarvis. Right. Scotty, Merry Christmas, says Scott Wilson. Scott Wilson, one of the finest broadcasters Scotland has ever seen. And I don't think um, he'll mind me saying he's a jambo man. I always remember a lovely, lovely experience with Scott Wilson. I'll qualify that before you all start panicking. And uh, we were going to get publicity shots taken on the battlements of Edinburgh Castle. And not just anybody gets onto the battlements of Edinburgh Castle, you know. So we were all working at, um, at Radio 4th at the time. Radio 4th, wonderful Scottish radio station. And um, we'd gone up to the battlements. And Scott got a sneezing fit because it was quite, the wind was quite raw. And he said, where's you? Where's you? And we said, oh, Scott, are you all right? And he said, oh, I think I might be allergic to battlements. <laughs> He's a funny, 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 clever, clever man. Very talented. Scott Wilson. Uh, you can't handle the Skype, said Jarvis. Jarvis, I can handle the Skype. No problem at all. I can handle any of these technical things. The only problem is we don't want any swearing words because we're guests in people's houses. Scotty, are the undertakers the new bankers? Don't talk to me about undertakers. It was very embarrassing because uh, I passed uh, a shop one day I thought it was a shop, and I thought I'd get some flowers for the missus, so I popped in, I said, I said, can I help you, sir? Says this chap, very formal, I said, yes, I wonder if I could get a wee bunch of flowers. And he said, um, we don't sell flowers. And I said, well, you've got flowers in the window. And he said, we're an undertaker, sir. What would you suggest we put in the window? So there you go. He ate my hamster, says Gary Crossan. <laughs> no, I did not. Right, Merry Christmas, Scotty, from East Kilbride, Texas. We're busy tonight. I can't come on. So, but uh, ta-ra. So there are James there. James Barrow, fantastic. Owen Murdoch's watching. Dinky-doo to you, Owen. Lovely to have you with us. Tony Mac, hi, Scotty. Where did you get your radio bug? I got it from listening to my truck driver dad's radio. Well, I can tell you, I have now been on radio for 51 years. And I got my radio bunk when I was nine. I built a radio station with the help of my father, I say. And you could actually get it in the garage on the car on a lovely big guy, either a radio mobile or a Motorola with push buttons and two on and, on and off and a tuning switch, a beautiful radio. And the quality of um, auto radios was just tremendous, like the quality of, of um, domestic radios. These great big wooden ones with the cabinet and everything. The sound quality was is superb. And um, you could hear Scott and Crew broadcast from the house to the garage. So there you go. It's only a matter of yards, but, uh, but we could get it. Um, hi, can I get a wee shout out to my neighbour up the stair? I hope you had a smashing day. Cheers. The station was licensed, of course, I have to say. There was a there was a license vote because it was only yards. So there we are. That was all sorted out. Hi James, Mary Crimble says Owen mother. Hi Owen, says James. Dinky do. Shout out to my neighbour up the stair. Hope you're a smashing day. Cheers. Says Jim Stephen Gibb. Hello, up the stair. Could we have a shout out from Jim Stephen Gibb, please? Oi! Can you hear us? There we go. Right, so that's that. Scott Wilson. What's me fat Bob doing now, Scotty? I have not a clue. I am not his keeper. Um, uh, all that stuff. <laughs> How would I know? I haven't seen the man for 20 years, probably, something like that. Is it 20 years? It'd be more than that. No, it be about 20 years since I last clapped my lamps and wee fat bob. Uh, Owen has just shared the video. Oh, yes, what time are we? Oh, gosh, half past. Can we have a massive sharing of this video, folks? Share, 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 share. Share, 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 share. Tremendous, that's it. You're not giving us a tune on the squeeze box. I might do that. Scotty, is your cap a 365 hat? Or do you have a special one for Christmas? No, this is the 365. I, I have several caps, but I, I like to wear this one because it's very comfortable. And um, so, so there you are. I thought we meant 360, a 360 hat. In other words, would it turn round through 360 
degrees. What we might do is as if we're <laughs> as if we're having a um, as if we're having. A, there you go. That's the stuff. This is oh, a very fine piece of work. This, right? Okay, that's it. Yeah, we don't want to do any bonnet blaspheming. Uh, do you think children should be told at a young age that Christmas is not about Santa or presents, but in fact about biblical history that's been lost in a commercialised dwam? Scotty says, Elliot. Very fair point, Elliot. I think it wouldn't do any harm to say this is what Christmas is all about. It is a festival. And uh, 2016 years ago, it replaced the um, Old Winter Festival, the Yule Tide Festival. So there we are. Calm Town and Edinburgh have something in common. The people in both places are prime candidates for the Jeremy Kyle show. How fantastic. I'm not sure if that's a compliment or not. Jeremy Kyle took over from me in Manchester. I remember that Century Radio in Manchester, and my replacement was one. The one and only Jeremy Kyle. I never got to meet him though. <coughs> uh, Sandy says, Alex Salmond won't tell us what money Scotland will use when we have Indy 2 next year. Sandy, it doesn't matter. The Scots pound. Uh, the pound is falling. So the Scots pound, we can either peg it to the sterling currency. There's absolutely no problem with that at all. You see, all the sort of things that you got from the government during Indiref were um, out of panic so there was a lot of stuff that i won't say um you know outright but but i will say that there was a misconstruing of the truth on many an occasion so there we are leone maroni says barbara uh, ann haig right or guigliamo marconi says scotty McClure. no the ned look doesn't suit you says angie thompson no it, it never did angie it didn't really and um scotty i'd like to see an intelligence test before indy too if you're too thick you're precluded i would say um you know that the media should butt out they should go into purda certainly the public service media um, because they would have to declare an interest and say we are british broadcasting therefore uh you know why are we going to back independence for scotland so these sort of things should be made clear also i wonder if it shouldn't be so much political as economic and maybe the politicians have to butt out at some point as well and we leave it up to the economists uh so there's all that sort of stuff i mean i'm not a member of any political party i'm not a great nationalist or anything like that but i do believe scotland would do very well as an independent nation and i don't see why scotland should be in poverty and sending 40 billion pounds a year down south for it to be squandered so there you are merry christmas scotty says tony sankus merry christmas to you tony if you've just joined us folks and you're wondering what on earth's going on you're watching scotty McClure. we are of course live on facebook live this is the big one the world's top talk show and we're work in progress so as time moves on we'll introduce new features to the show if you're feeling flush and you'd like to make a donation to the show a pound two pounds three pounds four pounds five pounds five hundred pounds fifty thousand pounds entirely up to yourself don't let me stop you but get yourselves on to www.scotty-mcclue.com and you'll see a little paypal there and if you pop something in you'll get a receipt so all that kind of stuff and uh, what did you get off the big bearded fella scotty says jim stephen gibb i got a, can i tell you i got some tremendous things now, i'll tell you what i did get i got a nicola benedetti cd i'm a massive fan of Nicola Benedetti's work and um, I love the piece when she plays with uh, Kristen Harvey and uh, they play Leaving Lerwick Harbour. Oh, you'll get it on YouTube. So look it up tonight, folks. Don't look it up just now because my clue's on. Personally, I think the Queen should release an annual Hanukkah message, says Elliot. Well, yes. I mean, Prince Charles uh, is talking about how he would like to be a defender of faith. I don't know if you remember the old coins, but uh, you used to get um, fid def, which was Latin, uh, fidelis defendor, um, you know, and um, Charles was talking about being a defender of faith rather than the faith. So there you are. Uh, Scotty, give us a Christmas song. 
says Robin Mitchell. I sang last night, Robin. I don't know how well it went down, to be quite honest with you. The holly and the ivy, when they are both full grown, of all the trees that are in the wood, the holly wears the crown, the rising of the sun and the running of the deer. The playing of the merry organ, sweet singing in the choir. There you are, little carol for you. Peter Parrott's watching. Dinky do, Peter. You'll be able to pick this up quickly. Uh, Scotty, when did you renounce being a Tory? And will you really apologise for being a Tory for all these years as being a Thatcherite? Jarvis, I have never actually been what you would call a Tory. I was a devout unionist until I realised exactly that the Union was not serving Scotland's interests properly. So there you are. And also, there are old laws that say Scotland should actually have equal rights. So it's not a question when you hear the Westminster politicians say, ha ha, that's not happening. We'll not be bothering with Scotland. They need to bother with Scotland. Uh, I know a guy in Aberdeen who got a puncture outfit. Uh, so there you go, says George. Good. Happy Christmas, Scotty. What did you get for Christmas? Well, I got, of course, the usual selection box and all that kind of thing. Very, very nice. Stuart McClellan's watching. Um, Angie says she got the new Andre Roux uh, DVD. Now, he is fantastic. Phenomenal player. I do love it. After what happened in Germany this week, do you think the border checks should start up in Europe again? Or should it stay open to all says scott wilson well the thing is it's only when there's talk of closing borders that you actually get all these problems and of course if um you know people get flung out of their country and displaced then uh, you know they're going to go to other countries and maybe perhaps don't understand the rules scotty what's your favorite song mine's cod liver oil and the orange juice says ian excellent stuff yes i do remember and uh, do you remember Big Hamish Imlach, uh, tremendous man, and Matt McGinn? So there you are. How long did your selection box last, says Jarvis Butler? Well, I offered it round Jarvis, as I do. People know that. Michael McGuigan's watching Dinky Doo, Michael. Lovely to hear from you. How's the time, folks? Oh, soon be time for another share. But you can share at any time now. Just a quick word about this. Scotty McClue is absolutely awash with social media. So anywhere you look, Go on to Twitter and follow Scotty McClue. If you've got a Twitter account, go to at Scotty McClue, all one word, um, capital S, small C O double T I E, capital M, small C, capital C L U E, Scotty McClue, on Twitter and just follow me. It's a good time to follow Scotty McClue on Twitter. I got my wife a new Hoover for Christmas and she's still not happy. Well, I got mine a new belt in a bag. And now we were running brilliantly. Um, how long? Uh, oh, yes, we've done that. Hamish and Matt, the little red yo yo. Have you seen a red yo yo with a wee yellow string? Tremendous. Um, now then, who else have we got? Keep your um, responses coming, folks, and I'll read them out. If you want a shout out or a mention, it's Christmas night, for goodness sake. Relax. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy the Scotty McClue Christmas special live just for you, Dinky Doo, on Facebook Live. We're here every Sunday night, God willing, weather permitting, 2200 hours Greenwich Mean Time. That will be around five o'clock if you're watching in the United States. Uh, Scotty, when did your political aspirations start? Says Jarvis. Jarvis, I've not really had political aspirations, but I like to see things done properly, and I believe in truth and justice. Hamish Imlach stayed in my mum's tower in Muirhouse Motherwell. God bless him. He used to sing a wee jock sparrow sat in a wall in the laundry. It's actually a wee cock sparrow. A wee cock sparrow sat in a wall. Um, Gordon Stilling's watching. Thank goodness. I say dinky do, Gordon. We have missed you. And I think you deserve a dose of McClue. Follow, follow, Scotty, says Sam Munro. Absolutely. I can't remember the last time there was a white Christmas says Louis Faber. Louis, um, yes, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, of course, just like the ones we used to know. I think the global warming has put a stop to it, but then it has an opposite effect, doesn't it? That's why you get the big freezes, because it actually is global warming. Um, Gary says, Scotty, my wife fell out with me. I used her toothbrush. Can you tell me if there's a better way of getting 
dog poo off your trainers. <laughs> keep it fresh, keep it fresh, dear. Uh, Sam, don't start that on here, says George. Uh, quite right. Um, so there we are. What's the wee black eye thing at the top left of your image, Scotty? Wee black eye, top left. Where are you, Saul? Wee black eye, top left of my image. Well, there is a wee something there. I don't know what that is. Anyway, at least the camera's up the right way tonight. It was up the wrong way last night. And I hadn't realised I was upside down when uh, Jim Robin, the wonderful Jim Robin, was saying, how uh, how do you keep your hat on? I was actually upside down in vision. So if you see Scotty McClure's Christmas message, you'll get it on YouTube or you'll get it on Facebook Live. What's the wee black eye thing at the top? Um, I don't know, Sandy. I do not know. Uh, I didn't get any cracker jokes, just quiz questions. At least we had the hats, says Barbara Ann Hick. I know when you get a good bang, Barbara, but you don't actually get your share of the cracker. That's the that's the worry. Say hi to my friend Sam. Cheers. Scotty Soralba. Ha 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 says Jarvis Tronimek. The wee black eye tells you how many people are watching. How many people are watching then um, at the time? It seems to be changing all the time. It's beside the live sign. Are you watching, Scotty? Oh, yes, there we go. So uh, so that's all the people uh, watching at the time. Scotty, we just found out we had a war with America in 1812. Yes, I mean, had things changed in 1776, of course, and um, the British had won. It may have been a different ball game. In fact, I wonder, would America like to come home to Mama? Would they like to come under the old uh, Oxter of the UK? I think the mistake that people made, 23 or 22, that's right, it varies. It's incredible. We end up with about, um, who do we end up with? Very often a thousand or two. One of the videos has got 9,000 viewers. So I thought that's marvellous. There's about 70,000 of you have tuned into Scotty McClure Facebook Live. And remember, it is a Facebook video. So it's, it's pretty good stuff. Liam Greenhorn, Scotty, get back on the radio. Dinky doo. Um, Steph says 23 watching, Louis Fable says still game, or the Limmy show, both good shows, um, but I like Limmy's um, psychological stuff of course, Scotty he's seeing things, I think it's the gleam in your nose you're awfully shiny again I know, leave it shiny, that's because I don't put on any powder, when I worked in television we used to give ourselves a wee touch of the max factor just to take the shine off the face. Scotty, nice one, Scotty, says Ian. We need to get it up to 50, Scotty. Is that 50,000? I sometimes wonder. But uh, because interesting at the end, and uh, we upload it to YouTube, of course. <coughs> pardon me, I do pardon me. That's nothing to do with you guys. I'm not allergic to you or anything. It's just I had a, a slight chest infection last week. Mm. But I'm absolutely dinky-doo now, I can say. Uh, 2243 is the time here. Let me just check this as well. 2245 on the phone. Which is right, guys? Is it 43 or is it 45? What have you got on your computers there? Uh, Max Factor, another brand's also available, of course, Angie. Absolutely. Uh, are you on the booze, Scotty? No, no, no. We've got the um, the water. Oh, that's beautiful, that is. Adam's ill. So there you are. So not on the booze at all. I see, says Liam Greenhorn. Just your age, says Jarvis. Absolutely, Jarvis. And tell ten to tell ten to tell ten, Scotty. Dinky-doo, says Jim Stephen Gibb. Louis Faber says, Scottish meantime is 22.45. Thanks for that, Louis. I'll just check my old uh, update here. I've got the phone here as well. We've got everything here, Louis. You know, all the all the mod cons, all the latest stuff. Sorry for deserting you all there. Uh, tell ten to tell ten, Scotty. Yes. How can young women not make mince? Says Ian. Don't understand. It's to do with browning, it isn't it? It's all this. How to brown your meat? I always say. Can you say hello to my fellow radio colleagues and friends on Celtic Music Radio in Glasgow? I'm always a supporter of local radio. Is it Celtic music radio or Celtic? Uh, put up if it's a K or an S, you would say, Tony. And then McClue will know Celtic music radio 
in Glasgow. Fantastic stuff. I thought it was Dunoon Pottery. It is, Jarvis. That's the Dunoon Pottery, dear fellow. There you are. You can see it. A lovely a sort of extended mug. Do you see the height of it? McClure likes a big mug of tea. There you are. You see in the bottom? Mmm. Argyle Pottery. Dunoon Pottery. This is different. This is a, a refreshment. Uh, that's got the Adam's Ale. Law, that's lovely water, as said by the late Reverend I. M. Jolly. Is Christmas played out with kids getting too much, says George. I don't know, there's the wonderful, lovely, beautiful Francis Basili watching. Dinky do, Francis, my darling. Um, perhaps the finest lovable lassie of the big switchboard Scotty McClure ever had. The lovable lassie in those days was a star in her own right. I remember Francis telling me she went to get her hair done. Some said, are you the lovable lassie on Scotty McClue? So she was a star in her own right. 20 years since we launched the, uh, the video as well, the signings um, at, uh, at the John Menzies stores in Edinburgh and Glasgow. Celtic Music Radio, Scotty, on the AM dial, says Stephen Knucklehead. Excellent stuff, so it's Celtic Music Radio. So I did, I said it right, didn't I? Definitely Celtic Music Radio Scotland. Uh, now, uh, yes, the Reverend I Am Jolly, but there was another um, name before the Reverend I Am Jolly came on. Uh, Ricky had uh, played a, another Church of Scotland minister. I can't remember the exact name he used, but it's fantastic. You watch the man's observation. It's just as you would have had a Presbyterian minister in those days in Glasgow in Scotland. Have you been to Danoon? Daft question, but Jarvis. My family uh, come from Argyll, so enough said. There you are. Of course I've been to Danoon. What a, what a silly, silly question. I used to go, actually go to Danoon every day because I worked on the boats that went to the American ship at the Holy Loch. Um, vessels like the, uh, the Proteus and the Hunley and the USS Simon Lake. And we used to... Uh, take the sailors on board for the Liberty Run and I was the cabin boy on the boats so I went to Danoon almost every day. Scotty I think army veterans have taken it too far if you join the army you know what you're in for says Ian Walker well yes but I don't think you can ever know what post-traumatic stress is really going to be like um, until you come out you don't know how it's going to affect you I mean look at all the people in the first world war with shell shock and then when a motorbike started up, they decked themselves uh, and things like that. Or if anything, a car backfired, they would deck themselves because they were seriously psychologically affected. Uh, gives a tune on your thing, me Bob. That was my thing, me Bob. I've got it here, but um, I don't know what time do we have. Are we time for a tune? We'll have a share if you all like to do a bit of sharing. And um, give us a tune. Yes, we'll see. <laughs> tune for you any lorry you can't beat it uh sounding more like a lorry starting up uh i could listen to you all day scotty says jarvis thank you jarvis you're very very kind but we wouldn't have to do that i wouldn't wish that upon anyone so there you are there's a little tune for you all um jim stephen gibbon 18 others have just shared the video let them know you appreciate it i do indeed opinion of trident on the clyde says Louis, well, it's got to go somewhere, and there are certainly many, many jobs there. And um, so uh, that's up for discussion. The wonderful Dave Marshall's watching, Dinky Do Dave. God bless you. Lots of love from everybody in the universe. You've had a very, very tough time in 2016, and I hope that in 2017, um, you know, the scars, the wounds will heal a little bit, and the scars will start to peel a little bit and always remember he is with you he is only 
in the next room and is never far away. And a lovely, lovely man, Dave, uh, who has brought uh, so much joy uh, over the years to so many people, to millions and millions and millions, waking up the nation in the morning. And we send love and blessings to you and to Barbara and to your family. Uh, oh, go on your cell, William McLaughlin says. He must have liked the beach in there. Sorry, I need to correct you. Celtic Music Radio on 95 FM in Glasgow, says Tony Mack. Oh, no, we can stand corrected, Tony. Never a problem. It's a disgrace they're going to charge for parking at the Broom shops soon. Yes, too much uh, charging these days. Uh, it's not good stuff. Did you hear about the guy that was in court because he thought he was a rocket? The judge let him off. Uh, Andy Rutherford's watching. Thank you, do, Andy. Now, I saw on Facebook that you thought you'd overeaten a little bit today. Was that correct? Uh, what happens when you die? Asked Liam. Well, Liam, I can't say for sure because touch wood, um, I haven't as yet. But um, I have to say, um, I think your soul marches on. I don't think there's a problem with that at all. So your shell might wear out, but your soul marches on and spreads goodness. So there we are. Uh, John says, Dave Marshall's a legend. How old is he now? You don't ask uh, people their age, for goodness sake. We have a saying in the media, we don't discuss ages and wages. Right, shocking, says Christopher Smith. Sing Silent Night for us as it's Christmas night, says Jarvis. Oh my goodness, I don't know if I could uh, manage that one, Jarvis. I have to do a, a bit of practice, I have to warm up the old pipes. Uh, cyclists get free parking, Scotty, I have to be. Sandy, what is it you've got this chip on your shoulder with cyclists, for goodness sake? You know, um, stop worrying yourself about the cyclists. On your bike, Sandy, I say. A wee shout out to my friend Karen Boyce. Cheers, Scotty, says Jim. Is there a God, says Liam. Well, I think we have to believe in a power superior to mankind. You wouldn't like to think that that mob down at Westminster are the, the most important people in the world, would you? There has to be a power superior to mankind and energy out there. Even if you had God as good, orderly discipline, then it would be a step in the right direction. Um, so uh, that's uh, that's that's my answer to that one. Um, I remember actually uh, teaching um, an RME class, and one guy said, "Why do we study RME? Because there is uh, no proof there's life after death." And somebody at the other side of the room said, "There is no proof that there isn't." And I said, "You've answered your own question. That is why we study." religious education shout out to zach from detroit in michigan says louis absolutely zach from detroit in michigan love to detroit i believe it's a beautiful beautiful place but you've been going through a tough tough time somebody told me that henry ford's old uh, office was open to the bats and voles is this true uh, in detroit which was of course the center of the american car industry Silent Night, says Jarvis, he won't settle for anything else. Um, can you shout out to Irene and our 12 grandwains, says Ian. <laughs> of course I can. George says, um, oh no, George, I'm not telling that one. Uh, bring back it ain't half hot, mum, says George. Yes, I like that. And yes, Sandy Major. Yes, Sandy Major. Shut up! That was him. Uh, shout out to Elliot, brother of Louis. Absolutely. To the famous there. Dinky doo. Share, 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 share. Karen Boyce, this is mega. So there you are. Keep your stuff coming. What's the time? Oh my goodness, you need to share, 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 share again. Christmas night. Nothing gets past Scotty McClue. And uh, as I say, Keep sharing randomly during the week because we are building a massive, massive talk show on Facebook Live. I think this is not necessarily the end of television and radio, but I think it might spell the beginning of the end for television and radio if uh, Facebook um, really serious up with Facebook Live and you have programs like this going around the world. Fantastic. But if you do own a radio station or a television station, if you own newspapers, if you own a media business, 
get in touch with me, Scotty McClure, and I will enhance your audience and uh, obviously increase the value of your business. Because when I've joined radio stations, some of them have been next to worthless, and then they end up selling for millions and millions and millions of pounds. I'm just stating a fact. I'm not saying that's because of me or whatever, but draw your own conclusions. Roots, says Michael McGuigan. Yes, your roots, very, very important. Yeah, and see, because there's a bit of grey coming in on my roots. What's the name of the song you sing at the end? It's just the cheery old song, Elliot. Yeah, a shout out to the Faber family, says Christopher Smith, of course. There we are. And a shout out to Mark Warburton. Shout out to Bailey Smith. Fantastic. Yes, all right. Sending love and best wishes to a true local and a great Glasgow radio legend, Dave Marshall. He so inspired me. A wonderful man. Dave sadly lost his son uh, just recently there. So he's been through a very tough time, Dave and Barbara. But um, lovely, lovely people. I saw him at the shops one day and um, he is uh, a tremendous guy. So I'm just hoping that uh, 2017 for Dave, as I say, the wounds will start to heal and the, the scars will peel. Think of all the good times, Dave. Think of the privilege of actually knowing him and having him with you for uh, for such a long time and that he knew you and had you with him very very important so we send you as i say much love and every blessing and to him of course uh jim stephen gibb moose loose about the hoose give us that tune dance with your granny and your auntie fanny scotty what's your favorite bothy ballad says so well, i well i'll hear you get up and get the kill you up going and so you know, a good can of folk up in the northeast, and maybe we'll do a bit of kill you up there as I say, and get a, get the bothy ballads going. You know, like uh, hey, hey, was a fine night in the winter when we all sat round a good fire and came in fae the milking. All that sort of stuff, right? So uh, shout out to Elliot from the Corp in Newton Mills. <laughs> so there you are. Um, Steph says, sorry to hear about Dave's son, R.I.P. Uh, so there we are. Thank you for that. I know Dave will appreciate um, all your thoughts, folks. Who's the guy in the picture behind you, Scotty? That is me. Well, there you are, see? There I am. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There, there. There you go. There I am. There. And I think there's another picture you can just see. Ah, uh, yes, there you go, there I am again. There we are. So you can't beat a picture of yourself up behind you. <laughs> Keep it going. <laughs> Marvellous stuff. Right, glad all over, says Christopher. I'm very pleased to hear it, Christopher, but your private life is your own, of course. And um, what else have we got? Yes, uh, marvellous stuff. Marvellous messages, folks. Now, I think it's just about pushing off time. Very, very good of you to put up with me here on Christmas night. It's been an absolute privilege and a pleasure being with you. Tell everybody, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure. Live on Facebook Live at 10 each Sunday evening, 2200 Greenwich Mean Time. And um, brilliant Scotty, says Ian, not at all Ian. As I say, a great privilege and a pleasure. A fine young chap, says Jim. Yes, yes, I, I was already. Ha ha, a handsome young man, says Richard Ayer. What happened to the good salesmen down the barrows? Why have they never had successors? These guys could sell ice cream testicles. Yes, I remember them selling 24-piece uh, tea sets and all that for a fiver. Uh, Marvellous stuff. And uh, it's true, it's true. How many caramel wafers have you in your pockets and under your bonnet? That would be telling, I say. You're on next week because it's a new year says Andrew Thompson. We might, yes, we might have a, a Scotty McClue Hogmanay bash or a, or a New Year's programme as well. But as I say, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you've had a lovely, lovely Christmas. And um, get following Scotty McClue. There's YouTube there. There's Twitter. There's Google+. Plus, there's LinkedIn. If you want to do something business-wise, remember Scotty McClue is very, very big business and uh, can increase the value of your business substantially um so there you go and uh, lots of love says jarvis love to you jarvis you fine man and uh, you enjoy he says 
Excellent. So, they're not sure. They're talking about Little Mix and all the rest of it here. Who's your favourite band? Good night, Scotty, says Gary Crossing. Good night, Gary. And good night to the world. Good night globally. Good night internationally. Good night nationally. Good night uh, locally, I say as well. Remember, Scotty McClure is your cultural and creative ambassador on Facebook Live big time. And hopefully we'll see you next Sunday night. We'll do a quick promo, of course. Get on to YouTube if you want to pick up any of the programs. They're all up there on YouTube. And until then, I say to you, uh, what have we got here? Silent Night. Yes, Silent Night to you, um, Jarvis. No doubt about it. Um, don't sing God No, says George. No, George, you're just a little bit envious. I have a good mind to sing. But what I'll do is, there's Giuseppe. Giuseppe Bichetti. Excellent. I've still got to look through all your stuff, Giuseppe. No problem at all. Uh, you're a bit late, Tam, says George. Many extras, says Christopher. Absolutely. Right, that's it. Until then, uh, I shall say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of Wheatersen. Au revoir and a cheerio. Happy Christmas, loves. Ta-ra now. Dinky-doo.